Hey everybody, Paranormal Video Gamer here. So, I was at the Cleveland Fan Expo yesterday. Um, we went because I got a one day pass. I have been going the last two years, I'd say. And every year has been fantastic. This year, no exception. Um, not as many cosplays as I saw from the previous year, but not bad overall. I mean, there were probably, let's say 50% less. I think a lot of people decided not to dress up because I think it was one of those things where they kind of felt like, what's the point? <laughs> not too many people want people to dress up anymore, but here's the haul. All right, you may hear my dog whine and complain in the background. She just got back from a walk and now she's waiting for her sister. As you can see, huskies are extremely vocal, and uh, they, when they are upset, they will let you know. Let me move my cat here. All right, so I got this from the gaming convention, or from the fan expo. It's basically a big box with a bunch of stuff in it. Now, I've already opened it. Uh, there is uh, one particular item that I actually gave to my good friend, Alan. Um, it was a Joker uh, pitcher didn't have a whole lot of value to it. I'm not a big Joker fan. Um, so I said, you know what? You can have it because he likes the Joker. He likes being able to hang like things in his house that are, you know, DC related and whatnot. So I'm going to open up the box real quick and then I'm going to edit the video. So it's going to be one second. Here's what my tag looked like from the expo. All right, if you've ever thought about buying one of these big boxes, this is what I got in my box. Again, the only exception is one item that, again, I gave to my friend Alan. It wasn't a big picture, but regardless, I paid total with tax about $54. I think it was like $54.35 or $36, something like that. So the first item that I got in this particular package is this, a Super Bits like a bb whatever it looks like a funko pop it's a bb 9e interesting i'm not a big star wars fan and then on the star wars kick i guess i got a rogue one coin bank that was actually in it now there are two items that uh, i am going to keep in here uh, or i should say uh, were in here they're actually uh being used uh, as you can see from the box, and I'll show those items at the very end here. Uh, I got a Doctor Who wallet, which actually, I might actually use this because I think that's kind of cool, actually. So, probably not going to look into selling that. Um, I got a little tiny lunchbox, Attack on Titan. Very cool. I'm not a big lunchbox fan, so this might be something I may want to not keep. This is also another item I'm probably not going to keep, even though I'm a paranormal guy. Uh, I don't have this particular phone case or this type of phone. It's a Samsung S6 phone case. Uh, I don't really need it. Hey, Artemis! That's enough. So, I'm probably not going to keep it because I don't have a use for it. This is something that I thought was kind of cool. Uh... Even though Battleborn is not a game you could play anymore, I still love this chain. I think it's really cool. Um, you could definitely tell it's been moved around and it, probably in somebody's storage for a long time. It's got rips and tears in the material. But, I mean, hey. Then I got this. Street Fighter Warrior Sleeves. Pretty cool. Not sure if I'll keep these. Kind of on the fence with that. This is definitely something I'm probably going to sell because I'm not a big baseball fan. I mean, I do watch baseball on occasion, but 
Um, and I'm also not a Red Sox fan. Uh, so probably going to let this go as well. Maybe somebody out there on YouTube wants this. If you do, please feel free to send me a comment and, you know, I'll gladly uh, let this into your collection. So next thing that's in here, I thought this was cool. This is actually a gelatin mold for, I'm assuming, Jello, but it's still Walking Dead. It's a cool little mold. Might be cool to actually have that for Halloween. Still on the fence with that one. You get inside, I got a journal, which um, Parawife actually opened up. She really wants to keep this, so we're going to let her keep it. It's basically a journal with, like, just regular paper. She's probably going to use that for whatever you know she wants to do now this was one that i thought was interesting this is actually a spider-man fleece blanket might keep it again on the fence not a big spider-man fan but i respect stan lee then there's a my little pony uh box that's in here and uh it's interesting because I'm not a big, like, <laughs> My Little Pony fan either, obviously. Um, but, yeah, not bad. It says it's a Twilight Sparkle Blocks Build-On Snapback Kit. So, I have no idea what that is. I'm going to have to look that up. And then, for the bottom of the box, I got a Bitcoin. I don't think this is worth anything. But... Kind of cool to like just have it. It says no cash, no value or no cash value or something like that um, on the actual coin. But it's not bad. You know, kind of cool little collectible. It's inside of a case. You can definitely tell it's it's aluminum of some sort. I don't think it's any kind of metal like that. This is kind of cool. Excelsior with Mr. Stanley himself. I thought that was actually kind of cool. That was actually in there. And then the last thing that was actually in the box besides the the other two things i'll show you it was this this raspberry uh glitter lip raspberry zinc uh definitely not something that i'm going to use probably para wife will use it i'm gonna put this stuff back in the box but i'll show you guys the cups real quick that were in this uh box when i unboxed it uh actually it was at my friend alan's house when i opened this up because i was kind of curious what you get inside the box again 54 bucks with tax not bad considering value wise i probably got i'm gonna say about 120 dollars worth of stuff um definitely not 200 dollars because there was a sign that said up to 200 dollars so it's not false advertising they, they said it could be up to 200 dollars and there was a chance to win a ps5 so it was like okay you know what i'm gonna take a chance this year and see what i can get so I'll show you guys the cup. One cup is definitely going to be kept. The other one is definitely going to be up for sale. Okay, as for the cup up for sale, this first one is actually a cup of what looks like a wolf. I thought it was cool looking, but I'm again, I'm not like a big wolf type of uh, coffee cup collector, I guess you could say. Very cool. It was in the container and uh it was like wrapped up in bubble wrap and stuff like that so again very cool definitely something that i normally wouldn't buy so my wife's been using the cup <laughs> since yesterday she absolutely loves this it's a richard simmons um missing coffee mug she absolutely loves it so she's like you know what you're not getting rid of that i'm keeping that uh so this is something that we're going to keep uh she just as you can tell it's got coffee stains in it because she's using it yesterday and she absolutely loves it so um again the only thing that's missing from this particular box is the joker um artwork and i'm going to show you the rest of the stuff that i picked up and uh one of them's very cool that is going to go into the game room as soon as i can finish it as you can probably tell from the thumbnail this is what actually i got this was 50 bucks and it's totally worth it. This is actually drawn by a artist. And um, I don't remember the artist's name. Hold on, let me look that up real quick. Okay, so the artist's name is called I E Y E Can Illustrate It. And I'm going to put a um, 
direct link uh, to uh, his Instagram here in the video description. Uh, this was absolutely beautiful. I saw this hanging on one of his display walls. Uh, again, $50, totally worth the price. Uh, you could definitely tell this was the, the attention to detail, especially with those chains. These chains are just simply incredible. Um, I love the artist detail also with the, the spear and then you see the fade effect of the cold element from Sub-Zero which to me is just the coolest thing. I love the attention to detail on the mask here. Uh, just simply incredible. I love the medallion that he chose. Uh, this is, if I remember, this is Mortal Kombat 11 uh, costume design. And I loved that, that costume. I thought that was one of the best ones. But I just thought it was so cool. I got to have that for the game room. And again, if you guys want to get this photo, this particular piece of artwork, I totally recommend. Um, got a frame with it and everything for 50 bucks. Um, so simply incredible and uh, totally worth the money in my opinion because it's, it's artwork. I mean, it's somebody took the time to actually make this. And to me, that is the coolest thing in the world, that someone actually took the time and spent hours and hours and hours drawing it by hand. And again, the attention to detail, uh, even the, the pieces of ember. I mean, that that's pretty cool. I mean, it's even down there. And then you got what looks like pieces of, I'm going to assume, dirt or grime. Um, could be, you know, part of the ground, like, popping up whenever he does his, you know, coming out of the ground type of um, special move, or I should say regular move, you know, combo move, uh, but still love it. Awesome. So that's it for the stuff that I got. Para Wife got a whole bunch of Funko Pops and she's happy. Uh, she got a couple other little things. She got a, a couple items that she really thought were cool, but other than that, not bad score, honestly, with everything that I got. And again, I'm going to put the uh, person's uh, profile in the description. Go check out his YouTube. And uh, not his YouTube, I'm sorry. Uh, check out his Instagram. Really friendly guy. Really great artist. Highly recommend. So that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys will check out his Instagram. And uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and like and subscribe if you got a second. It would greatly appreciate it. Later, all.